Hey, what is up everybody? It is Wick here. About to start my day, go do some thrifting. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit giddy this morning. Uh, I woke up, one of my sources um, found out there was a um, eBay um, Reebok glitch going on where um, you can get shoes for 97% off, brand new. So jumped on there, ended up getting 85 pairs of shoes, a few different styles, different sizes. I was just kind of trying to buy whatever size um, was actually that cheap and um, whatever style was that cheap. And a lot of them I was just trying to buy and they were selling out before I could even buy them. Um, so 85 pairs, there's some pairs that, you know, sell for $100 new. I got for like six or seven dollars. It was pretty crazy. Um, yeah, I should make a few thousand dollars if I get them. Um, if anyone ever messes with glitches on websites, you know that a lot of times the company will cancel because obviously Reebok's going to lose a lot of money. Um, if they do cancel on eBay, I've never messed with one on eBay, so I don't know if they're going to just be like, well, we don't want all this bad feedback because, you know, thousands of people had to buy these shoes. Um, if they do, of course, I will leave a lot of bad feedback um, <laughs> just because people shouldn't be allowed to do that, even if they are Reebok. Um, messed up on the price um i mean I, i'm scared i'm going to do it someday and i know that um i would want mercy if i was to make a mistake like that but um it's a tough call I, I, I the greedy side of me wants all 85 pairs of those shoes and i want to make the money so if uh i'll keep you updated if i actually get them um but yeah i know people's going to ask about the sources and stuff i have dozens and dozens of sources some are um, public, some are not, and um, I'm not going to share those because um, of competition. Um, just go out there and look. I, all kinds of glitches are shared online for free um, on websites and forums. You just got to go out there and look. Um, but I do have people who contact me and uh, supply me with information. Um, so definitely look for those people too. Um, of course, I'm not going to share any of those. Um, but yeah, I'm about ready to go drop off some packages. Ikea bag, I think 16 packages, mostly the, the torches I've been selling. Um, I got a bunch of, only make like $7 profit on them. So there's not a lot of money in that bag, but it's nice to keep moving them. Um, yeah, so let's get going. Here I am in Home Depot scouring the shelves for deals and, uh, not seeing a whole lot on this clearance in cap. I always look for the in caps to see uh, if there's any clearance. They put clearance a lot on in caps. However, um, you usually find the better stuff hidden in the aisles where people don't typically find it. These in caps are um, considered high traffic um, spots. So uh, that's where they usually put the clearance and deals and stuff like that. But hidden in the aisles are some uh, much better deals usually. There's some uh, doorbells, uh, video doorbells. Uh, they were half off, not worth it at that price. Here's some of the dog fence wiring and collars. Now there's a nice price here at 1903, was 73.45. Fortunately, that was out of stock, so I missed out on that one. But I have done very well at Home Depot with uh, these pet fences and stuff like that. Last year, I really cleaned up. Now here's some great discounts on some clearance, but like look at that, $13 was 50 but um, it's only selling for $15 on eBay and that is a Jasco product which um, they will um, ask you to remove anything you sell on Amazon so be aware of that it says GE but it's made by Jasco um, so always check there's some deals on shelves not really um, like $10 off so I decided to go ahead and buy a few shelves because I'm really needing um, more shelves for space in Goodwill now you see a bunch of the encyclopedia books those things are going to sit forever because they want $2 a book. No one's going to go drop like $40 for an old encyclopedia set. There is a uh, smoke alarm. Check that. Um, scan it on Amazon. It was not um, worth anything. And uh, yeah, some of them are though. So you always got to check. I remember selling one for like $50. I couldn't believe it. Uh, it must have just been a rare one or something. I don't know if, if you can have rare smoke detectors. Uh, looking around, I see this uh, camera here, 
and I gotta check to make sure it's nothing great. It is a Pentax. Um, Pentax digital ones usually don't do as well. And I did go back and look up all this stuff that you're seeing here. Um, just don't do it while I'm filming. Um, there's a little camera here for $7.99. This sells for about $45, but it has it needs a charger. And the charger was about $20. It's one of those chargers you have to put the battery in. So um, I did end up passing on that, unfortunately. Um, maybe could have made a little bit of money anyway. I just didn't want to mess with it since it was um, missing stuff. There's a Blu-ray player for $20, a Sony one. It's an older model, no remote. I'm not going to touch that. And looking up here, what do we see? Ooh, a register booster. I've sold these before, used and new. I bought out of Lowe's. Not, well, actually it's been like four or five years um, since I bought out all those and made quite a bit of money. Um, so I did end up picking up that as well. Looking into the toys, haven't seen any Jurassic World toys for quite a while. Uh, I guess that hot streak I had is pretty much over. There is a Scrabble um, up there. This That model up there is actually pretty good money. It is $10 here and they had it taped up. So I did pass because I just don't want to mess with the pieces right now. So here we are. I've been in a Goodwill and uh, Salvation Army. What I got in Salvation Army were just these Island Edmonds. Uh, was that Kittery? Uh, they were half off is the reason I got them, so they were four bucks. Uh, they're in pretty good shape, need a little bit of uh, touching up. And I've actually been buying supplies to start touching up shoes and trying to learn how to clean them better. And um, so this will be good to, to test that. Uh, they just got some like kind of little scuffs and stuff and then uh, just some of the black off the edge, but they look really clean. They're not a high-end Allen Edmond from what I can tell. Um, so they're probably like a $35 sale. They've actually been there for like a week. <laughs> I just wasn't willing to pay the $8. And I said, well, if they're half off, I'll buy them. Here they are. I got this uh, VCR, AudioVox. It's got built-in LCD screen. Um, this should, I should be able to sell this. I don't know if I'll sell it on Amazon. There's none listed on Amazon. Probably not since it doesn't have the remote or anything. I'm just gonna sell it on eBay, but it looked like I could probably get 60 to $75. Paid $12.99 for it, and I can return it if it doesn't work. I would not have bought this at say Salvation Army where I couldn't return it because it's just probably not gonna work. Most VCRs don't from thrift stores, so with Goodwill giving me seven days to return it, uh, it's worth the risk, I think. I can just get that listed pretty quick um, on eBay because trying to be more active with my electronics, not throw them in the death pile and just forget about them. Uh, I got this register booster. Uh, one year I bought a bunch of these at Lowe's and made a killing. They were like five bucks. I sold them for like 40. They do sell for about 40 new. This is not new, but I can still get 30, 35 dollars for it. I only paid 2.99. So um, yeah, I'll sell that as used. I don't know if I would even sell these as new anymore um, just because of all the IP stuff going on, but used it should be all right. So far, not a bad day. Let's keep going. I'm in a church ran thrift store and I think all the clothing and shoes was 25% off. So, or, or 25 cents rather, which is much better than 25% off. Uh, shoes are normally only a dollar here. So shoes at a quarter. Um, you can see they were cleaned out though. Um, there's some Crocs though. <laughs> um, I'm like, hmm, for a quarter, they might be worth it. Um, so I decided just to go ahead and grab them. Uh, even if I sold them for like 10, 12 bucks uh, plus shipping, it seems like, you know, you can make some money. And looking at the other brands here, just not any really good shoes. I even want to really buy for a quarter. At least I don't think so. Um, going over here to the toys at this church thrift store. Uh, they're normally only 25 cents anyway and then 50 cents for board games. So that's just their base price. Sometimes they have fill a bag for this stuff. So, um... Yeah, looking for anything valuable. I'm definitely no toy expert, but I have been learning a lot about toys. And, um, of course, puzzles and games, that stuff's easy to look up. But it can be hard to spot certain random toys when there's just piles of toys everywhere that you can make 20 30 40 bucks on. So I definitely want to be more knowledgeable in that area. But I have picked up a lot of knowledge over the past six years um, with toys, so I always... Uh, definitely keeping an eye out for the stuff I know. There's some ink. That ink didn't end up being worth anything. There is a calculator for 50 cents. This is a vintage one. I don't remember ever hearing of Bowman calculators, 
But some of these vintage calculators do sell well. People collect them, the, the ones that light up red. So for 50 cents, had the power supply. I decided to grab it. I didn't even look it up, I don't think, um, before I bought it. Um, I just figured I could probably get you know, 10, 15, or 20 bucks for it. And uh, looking on this shelf here, you see they have a bunch of just random knickknacks, but everything's priced so well here. And I have found some good scores, especially on some toner ink I found once. Um, I found a couple of them actually, and I think they sold for around 80 bucks a piece. I uh, only paid five bucks for them, so that was a great flip. Uh, but this place can be very hit and miss, but you know if you find something here, you're going to get it cheap, and it's going to be um, some great profit. I am back home. Let me show you what else I got today. Pretty good. Uh, actually, I got this at the first Goodwill. Um, <laughs> had it in the back seat, meant to pull it up and show it when I was showing the uh, VCR and stuff, but I forgot. Uh, this is... Uh, some sort of learning course, financially free, Catholic based. Uh, it's brand new in there. The DVDs and books and everything are sealed. Um, it looks like the original price tag on this was a hundred bucks. Currently on Amazon, there are no sellers for this. So I will probably put it on there and price it at $99.99 and uh, see if I can get a sale. Uh, I had to pay up for it. It's unfortunate, but still I think it will sell and I think I'll make some great money. Um, here's a Minolta camera. Um, I paid ten dollars for this. It's a film camera. Um, probably should have had it out of the package before I started recording. But uh, it's like an underwater camera, and the battery and film was in there, and it actually worked when I um, tried it. So had it left it on I don't know if it'll work now there it went took a picture so um, that's the reason I bought it otherwise I probably wouldn't have bought it at ten dollars um, it does sell anywhere between fifty and sixty dollars though it looks like and it has the attachments and some film in there don't know if that's used or what could be some really cool pictures to get developed on there actually never know I don't know what it costs to develop film anymore um, but yeah, there's, um, there it is. Should make 20 to $30 on that in the end. Um, it's already tested. Makes me happy. Uh, found this delicious, uh, <laughs> bread and butter item. $2.99 for a five pack, uh, Sony premium tapes. Uh, these were selling for like $40 last time I sold them. Uh, I think it's been two or three months since I found any. I don't know what they sell for right now, but for three bucks, I'll definitely make money. Um, that's be sold on Amazon as well. I know they could sell for a lot less on eBay. And then I picked up this mystery jigsaw puzzle game. It was a dollar ninety nine, and it's sealed on Amazon. It's like a five hundred thousand rank in toys, but you know, the seller right now is trying to get forty five dollars for that. So I don't know what I'll actually get if it's actually worth that much. But for a dollar ninety nine. Um, 500,000 rank. It could be the ranks a little high because of um, the price being high on it. And I have sold these mystery puzzles in the past before. I actually think I sold a golf one, which is weird. It could be the same one. I don't know how many different golf mystery puzzles they have. This is definitely one of those items you can hold until Christmas time. You probably will get $45 because somebody will be wanting to buy that as a gift. And then over here, the church-based rummage, or not rummage sale, it was a, just, a, just a church thrift store. All clothing and shoes was a quarter today. So, um, I found these Crocs. I mean, it was a quarter. The only reason I really picked them up. Um, I don't know what these would sell for. Um, they probably wouldn't move well at all. But honestly, you could price these at 10 bucks plus shipping. Still make some okay money. Somebody that wants them. And here's another pair I found in the women's section. These were also a quarter. They're really clean, except... You know, right here, it's faded a little and torn, the, the logo. Again, this is something, a quarter, maybe $10 plus shipping. I don't know. I just figured, why not? Because they were so cheap. Same thing with this calculator. It's actually 50 cents, but she only caught, charged me a quarter for whatever reason. So I paid 75 cents for all three of these. And um, some of these uh, old calculators do well. People collect them. This one did sell on auction for $15 plus shipping. 
So again, for a quarter, it's just kind of a bread and butter item. Uh, if it works, it's in pretty good condition, except for some of like the sides here, the paint's kind of rubbing off. So you gotta think, if this was at Goodwill, they'd probably want three to five dollars for that. Minimum five dollars um, for these Crocs. Some Goodwills would probably price these at 20 bucks a piece. So um, anytime you can find a thrift store that prices stuff at a quarter, uh, granted these would be a only a dollar even if they weren't on sale so it's definitely cheap um, if every sourcing location was cheap like that I would be adding uh, probably a couple grand a week in profits it is time place your bets is this gonna work what's gonna be wrong with it if it doesn't work the screen it's gonna eat a tape who knows we're about to find out though okay will it power on Hmm, I don't know. I don't feel like it's working. Um, <laughs> power button is lit up. Let's put a tape in, see if it does anything. I, I would think the screen would turn on. Come on, Men in Black 2. My trusty tape. Hmm. Looks like the screens is not going to function properly. That's unfortunate. Seems like it's playing. Uh. Wait, wait. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, what am I doing? Why do I have this hooked in? Ah! Sorry! Wow, talk about being a, a, an idiot, huh? <laughs> I had it plugged into the TV um, when it has a screen already. Wow, not, what What am I doing with my life? Anyway, uh, <laughs> looks like it is working. So that screen actually looks pretty good, um, you know, for, uh, for what it is. So as long as it fast forwards, fine. Doesn't eat the tape. About rewind. You know what? I think it works fine. I'll have to try to test the, uh, the earphones. I expect they work. And, um, yeah. I think this was a, a good pickup in the end. Should make some decent money on it. But that's going to do it for the video, everybody. I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button for me. Be subscribed. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, flipping underscore junk. This has been Wick. Till next time.